Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Shaded's Ramadan series where we're going to extract more and more lessons from Surah Yusuf alayhi salam. The next lesson that we're extracting is lesson number nine, which is the importance of consultation. The brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam, despite making a huge mistake, highlight an important aspect of decision making in Islam. As they come together as a group to discuss ways in which they can rid themselves from Yusuf salam, this big huge inconvenience for them, across verses 8 through 10, we see that the brothers use each other as a soundboard for their suggestions and their thoughts to discuss how they are going to rid themselves from Yusuf salam and get Yusuf salam out of their life. So even though they're addressing something that's not righteous and not fruitful at all, it is important to know that they reached a decision among themselves, which was a far cry from some of their impulsive uh, own opinions that they that they extracted, which was even as far as killing Yusuf salam. As verse 9 mentions and highlights that they thought of killing Yusuf salam or banishing him to another land. Now, by consulting each other before acting recklessly, the brothers seemed to do their own form of damage control as they gave back and bounced off different ideas between each other. While hearing the gravity of the different ideas, the voice of reason then comes through and they come to the realization that death is way beyond measure. They didn't want his blood on their hands. And perhaps it was very brutal and they didn't want to take it that far. So they decided to throw him in the well and stain his shirt with false blood as they slaughtered an animal and presented this shirt to their father with hope that their father would believe and accept their story. Now, when we look at this, it is important to understand that human impulse is dictated by emotions that run deep within ourselves. And though we are told to trust our instincts that God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, instilled in us, where feelings are concerned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also encourages the act of reaching out and consulting those in position to advise. We have to understand how thoughts work. Many of us disregard thoughts because we think thoughts are not held accountable. And when we think they're not held accountable, we think we could think whatever we want and it's not going to make an impact. When in reality, that's false. A thought will eventually lead to an action. If you really think you could think something for so long and it doesn't surface, off, uh, surface up into your actions, you're wrong. So it is important to also control our thoughts because a positive thought leads to a positive action where a negative thought leads to a negative action. So this type of discussion one might have with counsel, finding counsel in each other is the practice of a Muslim. It is in pra a practice of Muslimin and it is encouraged to do that in our daily life and it's called istikhara. And istikhara is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages the act of reaching out and consulting those in position to advise. Now we would think to consult Allah obviously and turn to Allah and seek his guidance but Allah also encourages the counsel of others and this includes but it's not restricted only to but people of knowledge people that are wise or those that are generally trustworthy individuals now unlike the situation with the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam who consulted one another knowing that they all had similar viewpoints and agendas. They all had the same mission. They just had different ideas of how to do it. So we should consult those who can offer a fresh perspective, someone who can give us the benefit of doubt or to give us a different angle of the story. And the purpose of istikhara is to be able to grant ourselves a sense of peace and ease. When we have a decision to make and we only put it on ourselves, it becomes very difficult for us. So when we have and we seek the consultation of those that are knowledgeable and those that are wise or those that are in position to give us uh, that type of guidance and seek Allah. When we seek that counsel, it helps us and it brings our decision easier knowing the fact that we didn't decide alone.
And this can be consistently seen over the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu where even in times of great distress, he was urged by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to consult with them, which is the companions. And this is actually brought up in Surah Ali Imran, where he says, "Fa'fu anhum, wastaghfir lahum, wa shawirhum, fa'ida azamta fatawakkal ala Allah." This is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So pardon them and seek forgiveness from them for them and consult them in the matter. And once you've taken the decision, place your trust in Allah, for Allah loves those who place their trust in Him. So when we look at this aspect in the Quran even, Allah is teaching the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to seek consultation from the companions. So we should never feel the need, feel the hesitation, I would say, in going to consult those that can actually guide us or give us an alternative perspective, as sometimes it's frowned upon with many. So although a discussion with the absence of any goodness and sense of righteousness it allowed the brothers to reach a decision that was ultimately decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can't extract Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the equation thinking that it's mankind, all of our capabilities or our knowledge, we do what we want, however we want. It is Allah who allows something to happen and allows something to be prevented and not come to us. So Yusuf salam was always supposed to end up in Egypt whether the brothers did this or not subhanallah so the brothers were an actually just simply a means to the end that yusuf salam was supposed to end up in egypt he was supposed to be able to do the position that he carried but this all had to happen in order for it to done, be done so it was all under the discretion of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the brothers could even come to this decision and I remind myself and you that while seeking counsel will provide an alternative angle to situations where our judgment may have otherwise been clouded, we have to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that trust not, must not be forgotten because both need to go hand in hand in order to gain the best possible outcome. If you really want the best outcomes in life, when we're thinking of something, struggling with something, seeking guidance for something, we have to go to the proper people to help us and to give us that alternative perspective. But we have to go to Allah seeking that guidance and then trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the outcome. So truly and sincerely, if we do this, we will find ourselves having the best outcome and we will not ever fail and we will not ever regret the decision that we make on our own. We usually take proper advice from others and take the guidance of Allah and then trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whatever is meant will happen regardless of what we do. So while seeking counsel will provide an alternative angle to any situation where judgment may also may cloud our thoughts, trust Allah and trusting Allah must not be put to the side or forgotten. So both are needed to go hand in hand in order to make the, pos the best possible outcome occur. Please stay tuned and follow Shaded for more life lessons from Surah Yusuf alayhi salam. Jazakumullah kul khair for your time and have a blessed day.